We are so excited to be waking up this morning in Jasper, Alberta. After working for five months in British Columbia around the Fort Langley area, we have hit the road again yesterday. We drove a long way and managed to arrive in Jasper. We've had a few little glitches along the way. We keep having an, a slight electrical problem with our trailer. We'll have to go into that more in detail another time. But luckily, we were safely arrived without any hitches. Uh, we have a hitch without any glitches, put it that way. <laughs> and uh, all is well, and we're on a little nature walk this morning, hoping to see some animals. Uh, it is fall, so sometimes you see the elk and they're bugling out here. Yeah, we've lost count of how many times we've been to Jasper now. This must be like 10th time or something, but we love it. This is one of those places, and there aren't many, one of those places where we think if we ever settled down and spent, you know, many, many months in the same place, this would be one of those. Nice and clear, but still a little chilly. We're not going to swim today. Okay, we only had one night in Jasper. Time to pull out. It's beautiful here. One thing that happens, and it's plaguing us again today, randomly we just lose our trailer brakes. It's been happening for a couple of years, off and on. Not very common, but sure is irritating when it happens. And every time it happens, we can simply pull over, turn off the car, turn it back on, and the problem goes away. We changed the brake module. I thought that was going to take care of it. I think that, that lessened the number of times that the problem happens, but it still happens. This is one of our favorite spots. When we leave Jasper and you're heading east, you'll come across this area and we usually see the goats here. Mountain. Mountain goats. I don't see any today. Strange. I don't think we've ever come through and not seen them. They aren't mountain goats, are they? They're bighorn sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Sheep. Yeah, we Sorry. call them mountain goats, but they're bighorn sheep. Yeah. I'll keep... Uh, there they go! They're, oh no, that's a human. My eyesight's not as good as I thought. Yeah, that's really bad if you can't tell the difference between a goat <laughs> yeah. and a person. Oh my goodness. Good thing I'm driving. Good thing Heather's driving. Yeah, this is the area here. All of this is usually with the bighorn sheep, but there's the guy that I thought looked like a goat. <laughs> Sorry fella, you don't really look like a goat. Bighorn sheep with a red jacket. Poor guy. Look at the turquoise blue water. It's so a slough. Pretty. It's not a slough, it's a turquoise blue lake. That's what we'll call it. Yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Coming along all the Athabasca River is always on the side of us. Mostly to the left at this point. That's what we follow halfway back to Edmonton when we go along here. I'll keep the video going until this curve in the road and then we'll give up on the mountain sheep. Bighorn sheep. In the meantime, just enjoy some views. Okay, back up to 90, yeah, because they lower the speed there. So many sheep, you know, that people are going to pull over there. all the time, yeah. Look how pretty it is with the gold hues from fall. So nice. Okay, gold shutting the camera red. down. No sheep today. If you've never been to Jasper before or driven the Jasper to Banff corridor, it is one of my favorite places to go and favorite drives. It's just wall-to-wall -wall scenery. We usually see a lot of animals, not this time around. It's just gorgeous and you'll have your jaw on the floor for the whole trip. Okay, let's hope that we're uh, going to have some better luck here. This is one of the next, or this is the next crossing area that's so popular. Speed limits drop down to 70 just for that reason. We never see elk this far east, but bighorn sheep quite often usually see the elk in uh, the town of Jasper a lot. Oh yeah, walking right down walking the street. Walking right down the downtown. Remember that one time that we were up, I, I don't think I was with you. You and Pamela were in Jasper and all the sheep surrounded the car. Yeah, that was... That was uh, uh, it's disturbing to sheep, some extent because yeah, the they like going and licking up the little drippings of antifreeze that come out of cars and stuff. That was at the, that can uh, be toxic. the hot springs. Was it? Yeah. Okay, here we are. Normally the Ask Athabasca River is a little higher than this from what we've seen in the past. There are a lot of islands that we don't normally see. There's one. Pyramid Mountain. Look to left, look to left, look to We're left. We're getting there. We're finally seeing a few of them. Uh-oh. And there's something Flash wrong on the road. Oh, probably because there's all these uh, goats there. Or the bighorn sheep. They're on the road. Oh, ah, there we go. We've got They're a... They're on the road. We have a wildlife blocking. They're on the road. Remember when the bison used to do that out in Yellowstone? Yes, we'd be stuck there for a while. You just because have to they'd wait. Be everywhere. Because they're not moving. If they don't want to move, we don't move. Yep. 
That's half the fun of it. Why are they only pointing their backsides at us? <laughs> Turn around, sheep. You. Turn around. They're mooning you. They're cute, but they're even cuter from the front. Oh, I wonder if the ranger's going to help move them along. What's the ranger de- getting? Oh, he's getting a stick. <laughs> a <laughs> stick with something on it. Yeah. Can you see it from your side? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's waving the stick and the, they're running away. Yeah. Oh, here they come. A That's funny. A few of them funny. are coming our way. So wave the stick and they mm-hmm. run off the road. I don't think these are all adults. Two of them look rather small, no, eh? No, they're different. Yeah, yeah, a few no, of them are a few he thought small. that he solved the problem of getting them off the road, but no, here they are. They just moved down the way to get yeah, the road yeah, over yeah. here. Yeah, they've got their own personalities, those guys. Okay, this white Jeep in front of us is going to try and sneak through. Let's oh, and see I think what happens. he just pooped in front of this white Jeep. Oh, yeah. Well, you have to decide now if oh, you want to drive cute? through it. Aren't they cute? Look at how adorable they are. Aw, those are young ones. Yeah, those are young ones. Go on, guys. I just see a little buds of where the horn horns are going to be coming. Oh, hello guys. Just keep going. going. Which side of the road are they going to be on as we pass? I'm afraid to move because I don't want to... Uh, it's up to you. You're driving. Into, well, they're partly on the road. So. I'll just record the video and you drive as you see fit. Come on guys, what are you doing? Are you going to come on or off? Or... <laughs> okay, okay he's they're made up his mind. He's crossing. Come on guys, move. Have a good day, fellas. Here's the little gang of them. Wondering when they're gonna cross. Hey, you know you're out of Jasper when you see the gate. Goodbye, Jasper, till we come again. And we will. It's one nice thing we like when we're in Alberta. They have these scales all over the highway that you can pull into for free. You don't have to pay for them like the traditional yeah, cat scales. Like when we get a chance, we pull in, check each right axle, ahead. and make sure that we're okay. This is the scale right here. Let's take it one axle at a time and make sure that we're yep. in our range. Do you see the, I, I see, see the it. digital readout. All right, fronts, 1490. 1450, 40. 1440, this is in kilograms. There's, mm-hmm. there we go, two truck axles there. So the entire truck with a weight distribution hitch on it, 3260. Do There's our rear axle was 1810. 1360. Okay. And then here's two. Let's hope it's pretty much exactly double. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly double, yeah. 2710. So there we go. All right. And now, finally, we made it to Edmonton to visit uh, David and Pamela's house. Hi. Right. Looking forward to seeing you on the road. Check out some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. New content will be posted weekly.